have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Madden Elite's heading back onto the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Out of the pistol, here's Williams. Room here to run! And he's got daylight! It's a foot race! He's at the 30! And he is down deep into Seattle territory. And a huge play that time. 67 yards on the ground. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Ohio! Ohio! Cut! Now a play fake here on first down. That is caught inside the five. And it's a touchdown. Kellen Winslow, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Madden Elites, they extend their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he's simply taken a knee and that's the 25 yard line. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense though to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Now Wilson on second down. Flushed out right. Side here, it's Graham. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Bobby Wagner able to get in and run him down for what will be a loss of 15 yards. On second down, here's Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And whistle blown. A timeout here is taken, and it's taken by the kicking team. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And Graham's got it over the middle. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of the first. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And that will force a turnover on downs. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Now a first down throw. McNabb eluding the pressure right. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's got this down to the 35. The 15 yards through the air and a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Ohio! Ohio! <laughs> On first and 10, McNabb. And that'll be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. And a short gain down to about the 33. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? third down. It's Williams calling no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. And Bryant's kick is good. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of seven. And it'll set him back for second down. Well, that wasn't just a loss. That was a loss of big yardage there. So the sense you're starting to get is that offensively, things are starting to pile up against them. And they've got to find a way to stop that. Conversely, the ball comes out. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming. Just hang on to the ball, man. And a big loss here as he's taken down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Pete Carroll rolls.